Why hello there anxious cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. As some of you may be aware there was a recent update to Minimator that included a few new features that I figured I'd go ahead and cover all in one video here. So let's start with enchantment effects. So we're just going to go over here. We're going to give Steve an item. Let's say a diamond sword. That's what everybody wants. And we're just going to go ahead and parent this to Steve. And there we go. We've got it parented to his right arm. Let's go ahead and give it a custom rotation point and just sort this out because I don't like the way it's lining up. And all the stuff that you should know how to do, but I'm just doing it for the sake of it in case you're new and you stumbled upon this video for some reason. And there we go. It was perfect. We didn't waste any time at all. All right. So this is cool and all. He's got a sword, but... Uh, Maybe it needs a little more power. Maybe we want this to have a little more oomph. So what we're going to do is with the sword selected, if we uh, come down here in timeline, we can see that our item here is selected. Go over to appearance. You'll see that this is item. We can actually name it sword. And then now we know that we are in the sword. Come over here to appearance. And then you'll see we've got this new section here called enchantment glint. If I bring that down, then we have a texture which we can customize, but it is by default the Minecraft texture. Let's zoom in here on our sword and we're going to turn this on to item and then we have options for scale and speed etc but let's go ahead and hit the play button we've got a fully automatically animated enchantment glint effect now as i said we've got these options here i can reduce the scale if we bring it down to five you'll see we've got all these these weird uh, lighty doodads. Let's, let's actually leave it there. That might be kind of fun. And we can bring the speed down. Let's do 10%. This could actually be a pretty useful tool for maybe other types of effects that aren't necessarily enchantments. Let's go ahead and bump that speed up. Let's, let's do like 500%. Hit play on that and you'll see. Oh, that's crazy. And then we have strength. We can uh, bring the strength way up. Makes me think of the Avengers for some reason. So the next new feature is the inherit pose effect. So what I did is animated a really... Uh, bad dance animation for Steve here and let's say we wanted to have that be you know some kind of boy band situation and we want to have other characters doing the same dance well before you might would have to try and copy keyframes or if they wouldn't copy over you'd have to animate a whole new character and try to mimic the motions and all that kind of stuff but now we can do inherit pose all right so now I've got these two characters and as you can see when I hit play nothing happens of course but if we take these two characters and we parent them to Steve so now they're kind of inheriting his position, which we don't want, but uh, we'll fix that. Make sure they're where we want them to be. Place keyframes for those positions. As you'll see, those automatically placed down there and still nothing happens. So now with these characters selected, might be able to do both of them at the same time. Let's see, we come over here to the hierarchy and under parent, we have inherit pose. As soon as I click that, you'll see that they're inheriting the pose. Hit play. And now we have all of the characters dancing in sync and we don't have to animate any of those they only have one keyframe because they're simply inheriting what steve has in his uh timelines and finally now that we understand how the inherit pose option works we can now even apply armor to our character so what i can do is go up here to the workbench i'm going to go to special block I'm gonna sort this by name and right there we have armor and you can even customize which type of armor here. Let's say we do, you know, just random. Steve is uh, not the most wealthy character here. And then we even have open armor editor. So if I click on that, you'll see that we have the selection that we made and we can even add patterns to them. So if I just click on one of these, let's do some of this stuff like so and boom. Now we have custom armor, create that plop it into our scene and then now of course I just repeat the steps from earlier we take the armor and we're going to parent it to Steve and we're going to create a keyframe because uh, we need to zero out its position so it's going to create it as soon as we go over here to position reset and then that's going to pop it onto Steve so of course we hit play nothing happens but under the armor if we go to pose for inherit pose then you'll see when we play this Steve is now armored and we can of course even enchant this armor if we come down here go to item and then now steve has enchanted uh very hideous armor so that's it that's going to do it for this video i hope you uh found that helpful if you weren't aware of these new features now you are and uh how to use them so uh make good use of it don't waste my time <laughs>